everyone. Today we're going to read Don't Be Silly, Mr. Twiddle. Chapter 4, Mr. Twiddle and the Bulbs. Now one morning, when Mr. Twiddle was reading his paper, Mrs. Twiddle came bursting into the kitchen. Twiddle, when you go out shopping this morning, I want you to buy me two new bulbs, please. Certainly, my dear, certainly, said Mr. Twiddle, still reading his paper. We'd better have big ones, said Mrs. Twiddle. They are much better, really, but the, the small ones are a bit cheaper. Right, said Mr. Twiddle, reading his paper and not taking much notice. There was a clatter as Mrs. Twiddle popped out of the, uh, to the dustbin and took off the lid and to throw something into the bin with a noise like glass. It was two electric light bulbs that were no good anymore. The kitchen had one gone, and so had the bedroom one. Mrs. Twiddle did hope that Twiddle would remember to buy new ones when he was out. I suppose you mean to read the paper till one o'clock as, as the shops are shut, she said after a while. No, my dear, certainly not, said Mr. Twiddle, hurriedly looking at the clock. Half past twelve? Dear me, I'd better go. Now, let me see. Fish for supper, change your library book in a... Uh, uh, what else was it, dear? Light bulbs, said Mrs. Twiddle, banging uh, down on the table. Bulbs, Twiddle! I knew you weren't listening to me. I knew... All right, my dear, all right, said Mr. Twiddle, cutting her off suddenly, and hurried off with a shopping basket right before his wife could say a word more. He bought the fish and he changed her library book, and then he stood and wondered what the third thing was. Ha! Ah, of course, bulbs! He said to himself, Now, what sort of a shop do I buy bulbs at? A flower shop, I suppose. They grow bulbs in pots and poles, so I expect, so I expect to have something loose. He arrived at the flower shop, and the flower girl came forward and asked what he wanted. I want two bulbs, please, said Mr. Twiddle. What kind? asked the girl. It's a bit, bit late for bulbs, really, you know. You ought to have planted them before this. Oh, said Mr. Twiddle. Well, Mrs. Twiddle didn't really say the kind she wanted. What kind can I have? Well, there are little ones like snowdrops, said the girl, and big ones like daffodils and hedgehogs, and middle-sized like tulips. Ah, said Mrs. Twiddle. Two big ones, please, said Twiddle, remembering. I'll have two of your biggest, please, I guess. The girl picked him out two big daffodil bulbs. These will be a brilliant yellow, she said. You be sure to keep them in ni nice and wet, won't you? What? Water them once a week right in the pot. Right, said Mr. Twiddle, and took the bag in which the girl had put the bulbs. Actually, I need to water my flowers. Right, said Mr. Twiddle, and took the bag in which the girl had put the bulbs. He paid for them and went home, pleased that he had remembered everything. Well, you haven't been long as usual, said Mrs. Twiddle. I suppose you didn't meet any of your friends this morning. Oh, actually, no, I didn't, said Twiddle, putting down the things on the kitchen table. Oh, here's the fish, there's the book, and here are the bulbs. I got two nice big ones. Good, said Mrs. Twiddle. Would you like to put them in for me? One is for the kitchen and one for the bedroom. I'll have to get two pots then said Mr. Twiddle and started out to the shed. Mrs. Twiddle stared after him in surprise. Did he say he had to go get two pots? She said, I couldn't have heard him right. After all, he has only got to get a chair to slip the bulb into the light for me. Twiddle went out and found two pots. He set a daffodil bulb in each of them. He carried them out into the house and put one pot onto the kitchen windowsill and one on the sill in the bedroom. I'll put the light bulbs in for you, he shouted to Mrs. Twiddle, who was in the drawing room. Thank you, cried Mrs. Twiddle back. They will be a brilliant yellow, called Mr. Twiddle. Mrs. Twiddle thought that he meant the electric light bulbs will give a brilliant yellow light. Good, she said, coming into the kitchen. We shan't need to sit in the dark now. Twiddle stared at Mrs. Twiddle. That seemed a queer sort of remark to him, but he thought it must be a joke, so he just laughed heartily. <laughs> Mrs. Twiddle didn't quite know why Twiddle was laughing, but she liked him to laugh, so she laughed too. 
You must water them in once a week, said Twiddle, coming into the drawing room. Mrs. Twiddle stopped laughing and looked at Twiddle in surprise. What a what once a week, she, she said at last. The bulbs, of course. Don't be silly, said Mrs. Twiddle. Twiddle looked offended. I'm not silly, he said. The girl in the shop said we will want to water them once a week. I don't mind you being funny, but I don't like you to be silly, said Mrs. Twiddle sharply. All right, all right, and he said no more, thinking that Mrs. Twiddle probably knew more whether to water bulbs or not more than the girl in the shop did. Neither of them said a word, the word more about the bulbs. But when evening came and it got dark in the kitchen, Mrs. Twiddle got up to switch on the electric light. Nothing happened. No lights came. Mrs. Twiddle looked at the light and there was no bulb there. I thought you said you had put in the bulbs for me. She said to Twiddle, so I did, my dear, so I did, said Twiddle surprised. Well, I, I can't see a bulb, said Mrs. Twiddle, screwing up her eyes and looking at the light that wasn't there. It's on the windowsill, said Twiddle. Twiddle, what on earth are the bulbs on the windowsill? Are you mad? asked Mrs. Twiddle. I can't see the bulb on the windowsill. Well, only because it's in the earth, said Twiddle. In the earth, said Mrs. Twiddle, wondering if Twiddle had really gone mad. Why would you put a bulb in the earth? Twiddle thought Mrs. Twiddle was being terribly stupid. To make it grow, of course, said Twiddle. Mrs. Twiddle looked closely at the window sill and she saw the pot of earth there. She stared at it and then she stared at Twiddle. A funny look came over her face. Twiddle, she said, I suppose you knew I wanted these electric bulbs to put into the electric lights, didn't you? Twiddle stared at Mrs. Twiddle and he suddenly felt very, very uncomfortable. Oh, how very, very awkward. And so he had got the wrong kind of bulbs. Dear, he was always doing things like that. Now what would Mrs. Twiddle say? What would, would she go on and on about the whole thing? Like the whole evening? But she didn't. She suddenly began to laugh. And when Mrs. Twiddle laughed, everyone else had to laugh too. Especially Twiddle. Oh, now I know why you wanted me to water the light once a week, laughed Mrs. Twiddle. Oh, Twiddle, you'll be the death of me. Really, you will. Well, we'll have to sit in the dark all evening. That's all. If you will buy daffodil bulbs instead of elect electric light bulbs, oh, I just can't help it. So they sat there in the dark and chuckled whenever they thought of the bright yellow daffodils that would grow from the bo brown bulbs. Funny old Twiddle. He does get the wrong things if he can, doesn't he? Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, it was me, Mira. Oh my god, I still have to water my flowers. Each of your jelly,